First pick of the year. Looking good. Once you have it, there's no turning back. Vehicles up there, past that green, cut through that field, walked into this opening of this thicket, and ready to step into some timber. And uh, Abby Girl spotted her first one. Been finding little baby morels for about a week. And uh, today's the first day we're gonna start keeping them. So there it is. First eater of the year right there. This first patch, these are all plum thickets. Old plum trees, wild plums, jelly all over them. All over them. So we're in a mix of a, an upland situation. Um, up this way, we got rising slopes and grassland hills and river bottom that way. So river bottom's like two miles that way. Uh, a, a true upland situation about 300 yards the other way from us. And so we're in the middle. So what we call the second tier from river valley floor. Got a friend. Yeah. All right, we got to get busy. Pinch it. Good job, Gulla. Good one. Super duper fresh. Oh yeah. That's what we need. Nice one. Yeah. All right. We get a peek at it. I did not look and I was walking to your sissy. The day you find more morels than me, girl, is the day you'll bury me. All right, nice one. This is about a two and a half, three inch one, and uh, we need some of those. So we can leave these small ones behind. What's wrong with that one, Abs? What do you see? Peekaboo. <laughs> super fresh, super fresh. Beauty. Beauty, eh? Who's got a little set of twins? Get you a good, nice pinch at the base. Pinch through and a little twist. Good job. Let's see them. All right, we like to see them clusters for sure. Sharing one base. One more here. Beauties. And um, we're going to load up in here. We'll be back a second or third time to do it, too. Plum thickets. Sometimes plum thickets are hot. It's been about three or four years since I've uh, nailed them in the plum thickets. It's all this growth, all this new growth, all these little new thin wiry plants that have um, grown a little bit out from the edge of the timberline. It disturbs the soil. It disrupts the ground. It's just like tilling the ground, naturally. It disturbs the microcilium or whatever it is that a morel grows from. It disturbs it, um, makes the morel sprout. Um, yeah, see it all the time in the thickets. Love thickets of all kinds. Okay. Okay, Lou brought me a mushroom, said it's a Mario mushroom. And it is a uh, verpa, the conica variety. Um, a peckerhead. It's a verpa, okay, which is in the Morcelli's family. It's not a morel, but it's in the Morcelli's family. Um... Anyway, that's a verpa, not a half free. It's the conica, a verpa bohemica. Looks like this and is a has a uh, umbrella cap like this that's not attached to the stem, but it's wavy. It's got kind of it's kind of wavy and pitted like a like a true morel or whatever. I'm stepping on everybody's toes here, but anyway, long story short, this is a verpa conica, and uh, Lou thought it looked like a mario mushroom which we all know what those really are those are for adults only it's right here which are you ready you guys are ready for this mulberries mulberry trees okay so yeah to, for everybody looking for the hot tip this year um yeah don't ever look the mulberry thicket okay so mulberry trees all these more brownish tannish trees one right here this one right there mulberry trees mulberry tree mulberry tree 
mulberry with deer scrapes. And they are uh, getting down dirty. You just you just need one, Lou? No. Oh my gosh. Need. Never need your morels. Mulberry. How many did you pull out of there, Abigail? Um, like 627? I just say yes. Yeah. Okay. What, like 10, 12, 15? What? 20. 20? What you got? Freshies? No, nope. those are old as dirt. Why'd you even pick those? Those look terrible. Oh, hmm? one right of course. I always look behind you. Yeah, yeah. First pick of the year. Looking good. That right there is what it's all about it's not about well it is about the hunt the adventure the time in the outdoors first and foremost but when you wrap your lips around one of them babies that's what it's all about no doubt that's the allure to them it's the rarity it's the flavor in that first taste to that first morel every year once you have it there's no turning back it's the best thing on earth 